everyone, it's Kayla. Today I want to talk to you about supplements. Should you take them? I am a firm believer that supplementation is a great thing. I think it helps your body function optimally, um, can help with recovery, sleep, and just help to balance out any current health issues that you may have going on. Um, a lot of people debate on, well, supplements, you shouldn't have to take them if your diet is good. Okay, well, that might be true, but how many of you, on a real note, actually eat every color of the rainbow? Um, you're getting in tons of micronutrients at every meal, and not only that, but how do you know how, what your body needs? How do you know that? How do you know that your, your diet is so balanced that you don't need anything extra? I think a lot of us are feeling tired, um, actually exhausted, don't have energy, skin problems, digestive problems, focus, concentration, um, you name it, hormonal imbalances. People these days are just riddled with these problems and that's where supplementation can really come in and help. Um, not only that, but look at the food quality nowadays. Our soil's not as rich as it used to be. Um, GMOs at, with everything is the way that it's processed. It's just not as nutrient dense as it was many years ago. So that's a huge thing that we're missing out on when you're trying to just get all of your body's needs from your diet. Um, now don't get me wrong, no amount of supplementation is gonna help with a crappy diet. You gotta eat good, you, had a, you have to have your meals balanced if you wanna feel good, that's the fundamental. Um, but going forward on top of that, you can look into supplementation if you're just not feeling right or you wanna help improve your performance or recovery or sleep or whatever it may be, you're having trouble losing weight. How do you go about figuring out what supplements to take? Well, I am a firm believer that you need to have diagnostic blood work done regularly. Um, now, I'm not talking your basic CBC, CMP, and lipid panel that most primary doctors want to order. I'm talking get with a functional medicine doctor who's not only going to look at the lab ranges, but are going to look at the ranges that are optimal for your body. So, for example, a lot of times when you have blood work done, the lab has these ranges on what they consider low and high. But that doesn't mean that's what's optimal. Um, B12, for example, a lot of labs will have um, the reference range go as low as 200 or 300. In Japan, the, the low on their um, standards is 500. And if you are below 500, you're gonna feel it. Your energy is gonna be lacking, it's gonna impact your focus and things like that. So that's just one really small example on why it's important to look at what's optimal and not just the lab ranges. So get with a functional medicine doctor, have them run some blood work on you. You wanna make sure that they're checking, you know, the basic test, but a full thyroid panel, um, different vitamin levels, hormones, and just get a really, adrenals, and just get a really good picture on what's going on. And from there, they can help you decide what supplements you actually need to take, what your body needs to take. Because if you're deficient in any of these things, it's definitely gonna impact your recovery, your energy, your focus, a lot of times your skin. Um, for myself, my labs over the last couple years have continued to get better with working with my functional medicine doctor. But one thing is my thyroid keeps getting slower and slower. So after, three years of this happening, you know, we try to attack the root cause of things. So adrenals and food sensitivities and things like that, but it was still getting slower. And part of that is probably um, genetics, Hashimoto's runs in my family. So um, we decided to start supplementing my thyroid, not with medication, but with a supplement that helps. And I can tell you, I noticed so much more energy and have actually lost a few more pounds since taking that um, because it's just helping to get my body balanced. So I think in the short of it, 
Supplements are a really great thing. There are some general things that um, you can take just based on my own personal experience. Um, fish oil is great for everybody. It helps with brain function, reducing inflammation. And most people just don't eat enough good quality fish nowadays to get the omega-3s that you really need. Magnesium is one thing that pretty much everyone is deficient in when they come in and have their initial labs done at the clinic. Um, magnesium is used in over 300 enzyme functions of the body. Um, it's also drastically depleted with stress. How many of you are stressed out? So you might need some magnesium. Um, also can really help people with constipation, the citrate form that is. Um, zinc is a great immune booster. It also helps a lot of enzyme functions. And especially if you're training, you wanna make sure that you're getting in zinc because when you sweat, you're depleting a lot of these minerals out. Um, a good quality multi. So um, back to nutrients, most people aren't getting all the nutrients that your body needs from your food. Um, vitamin D is a huge one. You do want a blood test for this one, but most people are deficient when they come in in vitamin D. And then there are others that your doctor can go over with you, um, pending what your blood work shows. Um, there's something else I wanted to touch on. Oh yeah, so another huge thing with supplements, and I think this is another part of why there's such a debate on whether you should take supplements or not. And that is, not all companies are good. Not all companies have bioavailable forms of it. What does that mean? It means your body can actually use it. So a lot of these companies, especially when you go in over the counter and get supplements, they are not bioavailable forms. They're not active forms of the vitamins. So that's why a lot of times when you take them, you might get an upset stomach because they're just sitting there. Your body can't break them down because they're not a usable form. So um, the company that I always use is Natural Medicine Formulas. They are always assayed by a third party, so you're not getting any bias. You're not getting the company saying, oh yeah, this is what it is. It's actually being tested. And before they actually make it into the supplement, um, it goes through a rigorous testing process to make sure that there are no allergens, no um, toxic minerals, metals, chemicals, other things like that, and that the vitamins are actually usable forms for your body. So that's something that's very important. Um, oh yeah, like I said, a lot of the ones over the counter just have allergens and things like that. A huge one in the multis that we see nowadays is they add yeast to the multis. Um, why they do this, I don't know. But for a lot of people um, that have digestive problems, this is a big no-no. It'll flare up your gut issues, or at least that's what we've seen for a lot of the patients that come into the clinic, is um, just they don't do well with this because of the yeast that's added to it. So again, I think supplementation is a great thing you do need blood testing with a functional medicine doctor that's gonna look at the optimum levels for your body. And you wanna make sure that you're using good, clean, quality, bioavailable products. So I'm gonna post a link to natural medicine formulas in the comments here. Feel free to check it out. There's a lot of great stuff there. Um, so if there's something that you know you should be taking or you just wanna browse some products, um, just feel free to check it out. As always, Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if there's something that you wanted me to talk on, just feel free to leave that in the comments below. And I hope all of you guys have a great day. See you soon. Bye.